Well, good morning, everybody. Again, I'm glad you're here. I hope that something that will be said today will be beneficial. It'd be a wonderful response to your soul that something you can relate to. I was reading this morning in the book of Proverbs, and there's a lot of, uh, believe it or not, there's a lot of parables in Proverbs. And uh, it might not be the parables like it is in the New Testament, but you can read a lot of uh, parable type material. I'm in Proverbs chapter 20, and he uses a lot of examples as you look down through here. Um, I'll just start with verse 1, and I'll just read, and we'll just see where some of the parables is. One is a mocker, strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. The fear of the king is as a roaring lion. You see that? The fear of the king is as a roaring lion. Whoso provoking him to anger sinneth against his own soul. It is an honor for a man to cease from strife, but every fool will be meddling. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. See, that there is a parable to a degree. Therefore shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. But note verse 5. Counsel in the heart of man is like deep water. But a man of understanding will draw it out. Now, that verse 5 is the verse that I saw myself doing solely by itself. And there was two words that the translator had added, and that is the words, is like. That wasn't in the original text. What's in the original text is counsel in the heart of man, deep water. Well, we know that that there is very similar to a parable. And then he says, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Now, the way a person operates in this verse 5 is in the first part of the verse. Counsel in the heart of man. Where does counsel come in the heart of man? You first of all have to have salvation. When he mentions counsel in the heart of man, a person has to recognize the counsel of God that has been put in the heart of man. People that try to figure out God, they are never able and never successful to figure out God without the calling that is of God, when God puts that calling in to a man, that's the reason he calls it counsel. Counsel in the heart of man. Is like deep water.
there's people that proclaim Christ, but they're not interested in getting the deeper things of God. They use the word salvation sort of like a, a, an escape hatch to get you to safety. What gets you to safety is the counsel in the heart of man. A person that really wants to be pleasing unto the Lord is going to be thankful and grateful and glad that they have the counsel in the heart of man. The only one that puts counsel in the heart of man is God. I can't come up with counsel. I can come out here and read the Bible all the way through. But I realized that when I got to verse 5 right here, that in order for me to be able to draw it out and draw the understanding from the counsel that is in the heart is I first of all have the heart. I have to have the heart that knows Christ. Now, some people's going to go and say, well, you got to be able to draw it out, but a man of understanding will draw it out. No, that's the blessings that comes when you draw it out of the counsel that's in the heart. It starts with the heart. Before you can draw anything out, you have to have it in your heart. I refer to my bottle of water. I first of all have to have the water to take the cap off to drink the water. Without the water, I have no, I have no, no liquid here to take advantage of. See, the counsel in the heart of man begins with something that only God can give you. And that's salvation. So in order for you to get understanding from salvation, what he's saying is salvation is mixed with understanding and will draw it out. But a man of understanding will make benefit of the counsel. This bottle represents the counsel of God. How can I draw out the counsel of God if the counsel of God was never there in the first place. See, the counsel of God begins with a relationship with Jesus Christ. And until you get that relationship that comes from Jesus Christ, then you have really nothing to understand to draw out because there was nothing that was ever put in you originally. Counsel in the heart of man is like deep water. You know, they, they have wells that are called deep wells. And you have also wells that is called shallow wells. Shallow wells basically take surface water and it pumps surface water. S surface water can be a dangerous water. Surface water picks up all of the contaminants that go into the ground immediately after the rain. It goes down to a, what they call a surface area, and you're able to get contaminants from fertilizer, from feces, from all kinds of things that comes from the surface water. And then you have what they call a deep well. And a deep well is water that really doesn't get contamination from a deeper source because the deeper source is a protected source. Usually a deep well 
is where the casing of the pipe hits the rock. When it hits into the rock and that well driver is hammering that pot down into the ground, he don't just keep hitting it and hitting it and hitting it 30 minutes. What he does is he knows when he hits rock and what he's wanting to do is get into that rock just enough to get that pipe seated in that rock. That rock is a lot like my hand. When you drive, and now here's a pen right here. When you, when you drive a well and you got the rock, that outer casing of that, of that pipe hits the, the rock that is in the ground and he bangs, he bangs that, this outer shell to that rock where it gets seated real good on the rock. You know why? Because if he don't get it seated, then that well can start bleeding water from around this. And it picks up sand, material, groundwater, surface water. But the water that the well driller wants to get is the deep well. And you notice what it says right here? Counsel in the heart of man, deep water. Counsel, meaning the right things that I'm learning. See, when I take counsel for someone, it ain't got nothing to do with water, but he's comparing it to deep water. Deep water is a lot harder to go get than surface water. Surface water, it don't take a very big pump. It don't take a very big pipe to give you surface water. But surface water is generally not a quality water. It's mixed with danger when you drink surface water. But when you go for the deep well, the deep well is where you've got the better water. You got the deep water. And he says, counsel in the heart of man is like deep water. But listen to what you got to do. That counsel of the heart is having salvation, is what he's saying. But a man of understanding will draw it out. So see, when a person truly gets saved and they know that they're saved, they have a desire to draw out that deep water. I've got a deep well here in my yard right now, but I've got a motor that is on the top side. But that casing is hitting the rock. So where I'm getting my water is down low enough that it's getting good water, at least for now. I'm on my second well. I've had to put in it another well because it began to pump sand. And you know what? That's what wells do. Sometimes wells get where they pump dirt more than they pump clean water. So therefore, you have to line the well pipe or you have to dig another well, one of the two. But he says here, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Many people say they own a Bible, but they never open it. I know of people right now that don't ever open their Bible, but yet they say they're a Christian. They say that they have the counsel in the heart of man, but they never open their Bible. So therefore, if they never open their Bible, but a man of understanding will draw it out. See, a person that maybe might not really truly be saved is not going to be interested in drawing out this deep water, which 
basically is meaning that the deep water is the deep water of life, meaning the living water of God, the living water of Christ. See, when Jesus went to the woman at the well, that woman didn't know Jesus. It must needs be that I go to Samaria. And this woman shows up, and Jesus finds out and knows a little bit about this lady. And her job was to go get the daily water supply that she needed. And the only place she could go was Jacob's well. Jacob's well was the only well that they had in that region or in that area. So that was the place of where you get natural water. But see, Jesus mentioned to this lady that I have a water that you know not of. This water here is special water. And when Jesus started talking about that special water, that lady actually thought that he was going to furnish her this water where she would never have to go back to the well to get that water. It was a lot like a PVC pipe. She was content in the Lord bringing that living water where she would never have to go back to that well. See, it was labor to go to the well of that day. It was work. It was hardship. It was her job every day to go and get gallons and gallons and gallons of water to use from that well. And she had to tote that water and haul that water back. So you got Jesus there saying, I am the living water. And if you ask of me, I'll give you water that you'll never thirst again. Well, she automatically is thinking that he must know something that I don't know. Because he's going to furnish me a newer kind of water. Well, he, he was right. But it wasn't going to be the water that would replace Jacob's well. Jesus was the living water, but the woman couldn't really see it. But you know what? If you go into the story of John chapter 4, I believe is where you'll find that story. I think it is. She ran and told the disciples all the things. I met a man that told me everything I did. And she was amazed at this man, Jesus, that knew that she was with five husbands and the one that she was with is not her husband. She was totally amazed of how much that Jesus knew about her. And you know what? That counsel starts in the heart. God had to get to the heart of that lady in order for her to have that desire to draw the deep water out. But a man of understanding will draw it out. So the question has to be asked today, are you drawing out the deep water? Are you content in just the water that you have? Are you content in owning a Bible that maybe you might not open all that much? This verse here spoke to me. I waited for a little while before I come out to put this on video. But really and truly, the, the counsel in the heart of man comes in salvation. But the deep water comes with understanding, but who is able to draw it out? It's one thing to have a Bible. It's another thing to never open it and never read it. Elderlyministry.com is the website. If you go to the tab, pull it down, you'll see a phone number. You're welcome to call me. If you need help about any of this, I don't have all the answers. I'll be the first one to say I don't. But if you need someone to talk to, I'd be more than glad to take the Bible and be able to take you to verses that maybe it will give you peace of mind. And that's what God is. God is the author of peace of mind. He wants you to drink the deep water that only comes from him. And he, he alone is the only one that can supply it.
Thank y'all for watching.